hey, yo, okay, forget my typical, like, intro right now. First off, Lost Saga is coming back, and they're going to be under Papaya Play. I've never heard of this company until I actually looked up what games they had under them. And the games they had under them that I actually know is Black Shot, Uncharted, and Lost Hill. The rest of these, I don't know. But I'm sitting here like, oh, wow. Lost Hill actually is under them. Lost Hill I used to play on OG Planet. So, the thing is... Bro, Lost Saga has been out since like 2009. We've changed so many freaking companies. That is ridiculous. Well, so many publishers, let's say that. I don't know if it's like the original devs who are working on the game. But if it is, that's pretty cool that they're still going and trying to get it like going back up. But you can pre-register and everything. I'll leave a link down in the description for sure. But... I'm happy about this because I enjoy Lost Saga. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I used to put a little bit of Lost Saga videos on YouTube. Then I stopped after a while because you know, I psh, the game was just destroyed basically by farming rooms. There were just so many fucking farming rooms that to the point where you just couldn't find actual people who wanted to fight or at all, which was just annoying. But hopefully they're doing they're going to be doing it a lot better there from what i hear there won't be any other premium characters like god of high school uh blaze blue etc like that it's just going to be the basic ones first because i'm hoping they get those ip back i'm really hoping they get those ips back if you guys don't know this is the game to first ever do a collab with God of High School before it even became an anime. <laughs> it was like still a comic. Nobody knew about it. And this is where I first heard of God of High School. And this is like the main place where, to where I got me to read it. Which was pretty amazing, really. But they had like so many interesting like IPs in this game. So basically what Lost Saga is, yeah, as you can see from the background, is it's a straight up like arena brawl type game to where you can switch between your heroes that you own, you know? So let's say if you have five different heroes, you can switch between them and combo them together. If that don't sound interesting to you, I don't know what will. Lost Saga had like a shit ton of characters you could actually play and enjoy. Like, half of my keyboard was literally bind to switching to characters. <laughs> Which was, like, so much fun. But I'm hoping one thing... The only thing I'm hoping is that they have better netcode. That's the thing I'm hoping. Because so many grabbing gears were so useless. I'm hoping that they have really good netcode. That's all I want. Is for grabbing gear to be coming back into, like... Well, to be coming into the game, because I don't think it was ever, like, too good of a thing unless both of you guys had, like, really good internet connection. You know, I would fight people who have, you know, some par standard internet connections, you know, I get a grab or two on them. Sometimes it doesn't work even when they have a good connection. I'm hoping that code is the main thing that becomes way better for Lost Saga. But if you guys ever want to look at like all the characters that are on Lost Saga, you guys can always just visit our YouTube channel. But yeah, it seems like we're going to be getting a permanent character, a random basic character. Not any of the like rare ones. We're going to be getting a permanent gear, a random medal, which is basically a title you can just throw on the character. XP and... This is basically coins, a coin booster. But yeah, right now they're going to be starting with the standard 76 heroes. Which is going to be interesting. Hopefully they'll have all the game modes in there for sure. I might be uh, streaming this like extremely often. This might become my main game because I, I missed this game. I wasn't really like extremely good at the game or 
anything i was just basically you know there's rookie there's noob then there's amateur i would say i'm basically amateurs <laughs> i wasn't a pro or anything like that for sure even though i made it to like major and was on my way to commander and yeah <laughs> you can still be trash I think a lot of people are worried about like their uh, performance thing on their profile a lot because there's like this profile thing it tells you like what rank you're fighting at like if you're at like a sergeant level you will get matched up with like I think weaker people or you can actually stay down to where you will fight like you know people who are lower rank. But if you keep fighting and keep increasing that rank, you can only fight the high ranking people. You'll get locked out of like the rookies. So you can't beat up the rookies anymore. People would always make like uh, Smurf accounts just just so they can go back because all the rookies were in the, all the way in the back. I'm hoping they do something about that because mostly all the rooms that people wanted to fight in were the rookie rooms <laughs> everybody who got high level did just barely wanted to fight and i'd say if you ever wanted to fight you would have to join like league battles and crap like that which uh, i hope that still is going to force me to do that or everybody would be fishing in plazas fishing was like a big thing <laughs> just because you can get so much like coins for buying characters and stuff like that but I'm looking forward to Lost Saga coming in, coming back. I have to think of like what main I want to get into with characters. And you can customize your character too. If you guys have never played Lost Saga. Uh, let's see if I can find Lost Saga heroes. Yeah, these are all the heroes that were. Well, some of these characters were in the game. I don't think it's going to be caught up to um, the Korean version at all. Because some of these characters we won't get. Most of them we will. I'm wondering if they're going to give us Evolution. Or if they are going to keep it out. King Arthur was my main. I, I enjoy playing King Arthur the most. Uh, versus... Oh, dude, I hope they add in Special Force again. Special Force was, like, really amazing. But when the game was, like, out, they took off Special Force for some reason. I don't remember why. But characters like Mei, we won't be getting more than likely just because those are premium characters. Any, like, outside IP characters are basically premiums. I'm I'm really looking forward to this, dude. Because there was a lot of cool characters, and there was a lot of people who made certain characters. Mod Boxer was something I kind of wanted to main too, so I might, so I might main that again, or try and main that this time. It really depends on what I get out of that uh ticket. Soul Bad Guy was in here too, as well. Not too many. Well, eh, I can't say not too many people use them. Quite a few people use them. Kyo was in here. Yuri was in here. Even though they all had... Those were input characters along with Mai. That, like, input characters were really annoying. Just because you can, like, create infinites and stuff like that. <laughs> God, it was annoying. But, yeah, some of the premium... Well, all the premium characters, I'm pretty sure, won't be in here. I haven't gotten a chance to play yet, unfortunately. I'm not sure if they're going to be an NDA for the closed beta, though. That's the thing I need to know, is if it's going to be inside of NDA. Because if it's inside of NDA, I'm just going to have to wait until it's not. Oh, wow, I didn't know, even know they got the IP for Dragon Nest. That's... That's interesting. Damn, dude. This is this is also the Korean Lost Sagas like character list. Uh, I think we stopped up to like uh, 
I know we got a few of these. Not like all of them, though. I know we got Jumper, Engineer. Oh, Outbosser. That's what I was looking for. I will say Outbosser was a favorite, too, for me. Man, the nostalgia of this graffiti. <laughs> yeah, graffiti artist was actually pretty cool, too. Dude, mm, I, I just want to make content on this now. <laughs> Man, that's all I want to do. I, I'm really hoping that they do get the old IPs back. Oops, not, not the one I was trying to click. I was trying to click this one just because I just remembered him. Yeah, I forget what, like, comic he's from, though. I know he's from a comic. I just can't remember which one it is. I don't remember you. I know, uh, Jin Kizaragi was in here, too. Isn't that his name? I'll go Jin Mori. I forgot when he was, like, introduced, though. Yeah, three years ago. I know he's in here. Oh, Hockeman's in here too. Hockeman was actually pretty fun as well. Just a full on counter character. I used him a lot. Rachel's in here too. Damn. Uh, how do you organize outside of special characters these are the rare characters huh wait a minute I didn't know puppeteer was rare I thought puppeteer was normal oh special ads okay never mind I, I remember special as in like utility wise it's been so long since I played this <laughs> I thought about getting into the Korean version, but then I was just like, nah. Might as well just not play anymore. It would be a hassle trying to just update and get back into Korean Lost Saga like over and over again. I say I, I enjoyed Striker for a while. It's just that his grabs didn't work most of the time. There is Wukong who is like extremely annoying too. He had a extremely annoying playstyle. Wait a minute, where's Dragon Slayer? Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I didn't see you around too many, like too often. But no, really, where is Dragon Slayer? Now, this game also had a lot of mechanics. Mafia Boss was actually pretty dope, too. If you knew how to play it and, you know, get it, get off that annoying infinite it had. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I played a lot of Dragon Slayer as well. It, it's just a whole bunch of nostalgia. <laughs> But you guys see most of the characters. I'll put the link down in the description for all the heroes that the Korean version has right now. This doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get most of these. If you guys see any characters that are just like from a different IP, we're more than likely not going to start with them once the closed beta or anything else starts. And half of these characters aren't part of a... Um, North America Lost Saga. At least the rare ones, that is. But I'll leave it up to you guys. Oh yeah, that's another game I was thinking about. When I had saw this Lost Saga thing, dude, I thought to myself, Hero of the Realm was another game I used to play like on a browser for OG Planet. And I'm kind of sad that Hero of the Realm is gone. <laughs> Now, that was actually, like, a lot of fun back then. But now that I look at it now, the gameplay is kind of 
a lot different. It's just kind of like, hey, yikes. <laughs> I played this. <laughs> but I can't say that now because I would still probably play the hell out of it either way. But yeah, if you guys are like old players of, you know, Lost Saga, feel free to like just come back and support them for sure. I say it's, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle like most of the issues that you know the other publishers pretty much faced and how the game faced a lot of you know player issues especially with like i said the farming rooms to where you know being a, being a battle for a certain amount of time type of situation and people would just literally create farming rooms it would just be nothing but farming rooms nobody would fight or anything which was unfortunate. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping they do something really unique. I'm really hoping they're use, doing something really unique for um, events other than just time consuming things. W with that said, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to head out before I rant on more about how much I love this game. <laughs> God, I hope so many of my characters I used to play are still in this. I say, even if the premium characters aren't in here and there's still a lot of other characters I enjoyed. It, it kind of confused me at first just because I saw Yuri in the background doing his combos and stuff like that. They had like hero showcase trailers too. Also, if you ever want to just visit the Lost Saga YouTube channel and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. This game is coming back, dude. I am, I am ready. I am full on ready. But my beta starts way later on, so feels bad, mate. I won't be able to play in it for a long. Wow, now. But uh, but anyway, with that said, until then, peace out.